it's me and today we're going to be doing a little bit more art. I'm going to be doing an art tutorial of how to drill a dinosaur. It's not just a normal dinosaur. I'm going to be drawing a dinosaur like in a sunset with mountains in the background. I don't know. You'll see. It's It'll look cool. Hopefully. Yeah. So let's just get right on into it. So you're going to need obviously paint or painting, a canvas or paper, something to protect your area with, paintbrushes, some paper plates or circle template things, a pencil, some water, some scissors, and a dinosaur template thing. We'll link it in the description below if you need it, because you will. Okay, so the first step is to get a paper plate. And if you don't have a paper plate, it could really just be anything round that you could trace. Got a circle. Now this is going to be the sun slash moon, whatever. So you're just going to want to put it in a good position on your canvas. Then you're going to need to get some yellow paint. Obviously you don't have to do it with these colors, but I suggest using these colors. So you're going to need some yellow paint. Oh wait, first um, you got to trace this with the pencil. So then you're going to need a brush, just like a small brush, not too big. You're going to want to trace a little circle around the sun moon, the soon. Just make a little ring around it. That's good. So yeah, got the yellow ring. And then the next step is to get like, color would probably be to use orange because it's still a light color. So you're gonna need to get the orange, orange, and then just put it around the yellow ring and try to blend it. Just like that. It's beautiful. It does not look as good on camera, but my art skills are pretty good in real life. Now we do the third color. It's probably like a pink or something. Like a reddish pink of this one. And you just keep on going with the ring around the sun. So you want to make sure that each of your colors are thicker than the last. Like for example, the, the yellow is the thinnest, the orange is thicker than the yellow, and the red is thicker than the orange and the yellow. And then the thickest color will be the next color which will be like a deep purple, kind of. There we go. So now you're gonna need like a deep violet purple. I'm gonna use this color. Yeah, also if you were wondering, this is the sunset that I have so far. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. <laughs> if you want, you could add one extra color and just make you just use a darker purple. On, around the very edges. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black to the purple because it's not dark enough. So I wasn't paying attention. Um, right here. Wait. Okay, so now it's time to use the white. <laughs> Probably gonna have to pour it in.
It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to make sure that you really blend it all together. I'm going to try not to get any harsh lines because then it'll look really stripey. But this is my nose line. Whoopsie. This is mine so far. Looks pretty good, I think. The water is white now. Let's move on to the next step. <laughs> I just sneeze all over my painting. <laughs> well, nobody can touch it now. Yeah, so the next step is to put some little like moon beam flick thingies around the moon. You're just gonna wanna do the flicks. But... You also want the little moon flick things to kind of go like circular around the moon. But if you want to add some straight ones like I did, go ahead. I think that's enough for this. So, got that right there. Woo! Licky. Time to do the that ones. Now for those, they're gray, so you're gonna need to mix a little bit of black and white. I'll use this, because I don't know where my other one went. So. I think I'll use these again. Alright, so we got some mountains down here. Looks like that. Now, as you can see, it's not very good enough. Opaque. Word of the day. Opaque. It's not very good in opaque, but you know that we're gonna do another. We're gonna do a second coat so that it actually looks it's opaque because I think that the color is actually coming off since we're just going straight over it. So we'll be right back. Pew pew pew. looks kind of cool like this like snowy mountains either way we were gonna put some snow on it so I guess we don't really have to anymore okay so that's we just need to dry it also you could add snow to it but we actually patted it down with a napkin and the snow and the paint just came and the paint came off a little bit so it looks kind of like snow. Snowy mountains. Black. Did it dry yet? Good enough. Where'd my napkin go? He got in my black. Oh, rude. My little pitch black black. So on the bottom, you're just gonna wanna paint it black, like a little line on the bottom. Gonna wanna add some little lumps to it, cause this, cause this is a four. There you go. Now it's time to do the dinosaur. So we're gonna set this aside to dry. And while it's drying, we're gonna cut out the dinosaur mold. Thank you. Welcome to How to Pass the Time with Bella. Get worried because you broke your mom's computer. <laughs> Stretch a little bit or a lot. Yodel. Stay alive. Lick your paint bottles. And now, 
back to the video. So the floor is pretty much dry. It doesn't look great right now, but once we add the black dinosaur, it will. So you're just gonna wanna trace the dinosaur again, like that with light pencil marks. Oh, I did pretty good. So I traced it. I don't know if you can see it. So now it's time to, to paint the dinosaur black. It's gonna be like a shadowy dinosaur, dinosaur shadow. If you wanted to, you could make it um, not a shadow and paint it normal color. So the next step, to paint the palm trees. So I'm just gonna freehand it. I'm just gonna do it. Seems like easy. So to draw the palm tree, you're just gonna need to make like a little curved line, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like that. So then, you're pretty much just gonna wanna add lines to it. Like that. So then you're just gonna wanna add the sticks to the sticks. <laughs> so the best way that I found to do it, pretty much should just get blend of paint and dip and just do a bunch of little scrapes as the leaves. You know you could fill in any of the extra areas like that. Oop. Oop. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's a palm tree. There we go. So, this is it. If we're not fully done, we are gonna add some extra little white details. Like, so we just gonna wanna add a few little flames. Well, I'm just gonna add a few more finishing touches and I'll show you what it looks like. Drum roll, please. This is the finished product. It looks beautiful. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a like on the video if you actually ended up trying this artwork. And bye guys, see you next time.